So in this yeah. PPT, we want to discuss about the compensation and what is compensation, what all topic that we're going to cover on compensation. So before we go ahead with the session, so may what is? Can you give me your background about uh, uh, you know your <coughs> how many years of experience you have? Yeah, I'm having three point five years of experience, totally okay. into HR recruitment. All right. Okay, so that's a total experience into HR recruitment. You have a three point five year of experience, right? Okay. So why compensation then? Okay, so my brother is working in a SAP company. Mm -hmm. So there is an opening in compensation module, and uh, that's the reason I'm learning this course now. There right. still there are fifty fifty chances to grab into that company. Okay. All right. So I would like <clears throat> good. So my compensation, it's a good module and. It deals with all the promotion activity and how much the raise and hike which has to be given to the employee. So if that's if if you have a, a nick to those you know uh, like detail about the payment and everything, so this module will certainly interest you. All okay. right. So uh, now let me also give you my experience. I have uh, my name is Ashish and I have a total 17 years of experience and 11 years of experience. I have been into SAP HCM and the rest uh, six years of experience into your SAP success factor. Mm -hmm. So at present I work as a manager where can, you know both the project which I handle which is your SAP HCM and your success factor project. Now since you want to do only the compensation. So what we're going to do. I'm going to focus only on the compensation related topic. Okay. All right. So there are various things, uh, you know, which in your compensation, which is there that uh, normally the people they think it's like you know, that how much is the rating which a person has got it uh, as per that, you know, your compensation get increased, right? Mm. This is the general perception people they have, but this is not true. Anybody who has got a 5% rating, you will see it's like, you know, they might get end up in 10% high. But anybody who has got maybe 4% rating, they might end up in 35% high. All right. So there are various parameters which has been taken into the organization before they decide who will get what high into the organization. All right. So there's a lot of process which goes into that. So that's a one thing. Second, it is your compensation process, which is there. So in compensation process, you will find that there are two kind of a process, which is a focal review and another is an adversary review. Focal review is a review which is from your uh, January to December. Uh, you know, like uh, you'll find that in January to December, which is in the case of a Western country, or from the April to March, this is something which you'll find that. Uh, so this is like you know, which is your uh, uh, you know based on the uh, you know those uh, calendar year or based on the like India financial year starts from the April to March, right? So that is a focal review. Then there is okay. the anniversary review. Anniversary review is then you know from the time that you have joined the company and when you complete your one year, your company does your appraisal. But 90% of the organization they go ahead with the focal review. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then the component of your uh, compensation is again been divided into two things. One is a monetary and another is a non-monetary. Monetary is something which is like your salary, merit lump sum adjustment promotion bonus right so these are the monetary option then another is your non-monetary option in the non-monetary option there are certain organization which also offer you the stock option right so those okay. stock option you will see that into your like you will see that Infosys offer their employee as a stock option right so that employee do not leave the company correct yeah that is the stock option. Let's see now in the PPT what all topic that we have. Okay. So these are the topic which I'm going to cover during the compensation. So here you can see this is the compensation introduction. I think we already spent lots of time on the compensation introduction. So here you can see this all employee their name and here you will see it's like you know, their current salary, their merit section, how much is a budget section they have it, how much is a rating they have got it, right? What is a promotion? What is a final salary, right? So like this, you will see all these detail into the introduction part of it. Then there is a permission. See everything that you do into your system, there has to be a permission, right? So okay. those permission has to be whether it is 
you have a access to do certain thing or not so those basically it comes from the permission section then also okay. you have a compensation planning so this is a compensation planning so in your compensation planning you will see you have your uh, how do you plan to do that like the budget which is a merit or the lump sum and you can see it's like when it exceed your particular amount it also goes beyond your uh you know limit. those limits so i mean also in that when it goes beyond the limit so in that case system starts throwing you the issue right okay. so like this you know it is also uh you know so in that case you have to bring your compensation which is low uh, you know less than what is the amount which has been so this is a budget you can see eighty thousand four hundred and seventy but they have utilized eighty one thousand right so there's a difference of coming as a nine hundred and fourteen dollar right so they have to reduce this amount by the nine hundred and fourteen dollars so this is what also but this is a you know this planning has to be done by us like people who are actually trained on this then your worksheet for the compensation it has been divided into the stock uh, salary and the summary part of it and in this <laughs> case it's like you, know, you will have your all these worksheet so we're going to discuss all these details so stock is nothing there are companies who offer the stock option like uh, i'm sure you have heard about sikka right who joined as a in place of a uh, Narayan Murthy, and he was the covers from SAP, right? So he joined Enforces, right? Now he has obviously stepped down, but when he joined the company, company offered them a stock option. Why they offer the stock option to him? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't heard about this. Okay, many company they offer the stock option so that. Uh, you know uh, so that you know people they don't leave the organization see when you join any organization it is you know that you almost take somewhere on six months to uh, one year uh, you know to start understanding the company and their culture and the process right by the time you know if the people they leave within six months so in such mm -hmm. cases what happened company do not benefit with such employee yeah that is right? a probation period, I think, right? Uh, that is a probation period, right? So even many people, they leave, uh, you know, within the probation because there's a huge investment in goals. See, the most expensive activity in any organization, you know, it is a recruitment activity because they spend hmm. lots of amount to hire a person and you know, there's a whole huge expense which goes into that. So that is the reason, you know, companies try to get into those less people for the stock. Then you also have a worksheet. So here you can see this worksheet. The worksheet it has been divided into merit, lump sum, adjustment. So we're going to discuss all these details. Compensation hierarchy. So how those hierarchy it will be there. Manager to the team member or you know the further below they have those section. So that also hierarchy. So in your compensation you're going to see your compensation. I'm um, you know that data for plan and monitor job reporting and the aggregate reporting. So this is what you. <coughs> You can you can also import compensation data using the UDF file. So here you can see this UDF file it is coming. So you can also go ahead and uh, import those data. Then you have a currency conversion. So currency conversion it is like you know when you are shifting to some different country. Let's suppose you have been hired in India, but you have been sent for a project in Germany. So you know then how the currency conversion it has to be done. So those detail also we will talk about it. We will also talk about the matrix, pay matrix. What is pay matrix? Uh, if you have ever appeared for an interview, when salary negotiation happens with HR, if you remember, they always say that you know, if you ask for a certain amount, they say you know this, you're going beyond the salary limit, right? Yeah. So they have this salary limit, like you know, manager one, this they will get this limit. Manager two, they will get this limit. Manager three, they will get this limit. So like this, they have a pay matrix. Then they okay. also have a proration so in that case it's like you, know, you can go ahead and do that prorata what is prorata i'm not aware okay prorata it is somewhere that uh, like for example let's suppose your organization has uh your they're doing the uh, january to december they're doing their appraisal all right you have joined in month of january so you have completed your one year right so you're supposed to get more salary right but let's suppose there is a person who has joined in month of august so obviously mm -hmm. that person should get uh, less salary, right? Increment yeah. because he has joined yeah. in the middle of a, uh, uh, right? So that is what yeah. it's the meaning of prorata. So prorata, it can be done two things, whether it's a salary prorata or it's a raise prorata, right? So that is the way you can do your prorata. Okay. Then also you will see your, 
or my PDF got stuck. Okay, so this is a pro rata type where you can see how the calculation it is happening. So we will discuss about this calculation when we will start the session. This is a pro okay. rata option. So here you can see all these options. This is a benchmark for salary. We'll discuss about the count ratio and the range penetration. Do you have any idea what is the basic difference between these two? Comp no. ratio and the range penetration. All right, no problem. So we'll discuss this during the salary. Uh, you know when the we'll start the regular session. What is the mm -hmm. comp ratio and the range penetration? And after this, you will see your uh, budget. So you have your budget section. So you can decide your budget. How much is a budget which is going to be allocated? For the section, it's like you know this is a budget. You six person of the budget, ten person of the budget. You know, so like this, you can define this budget. Then you also have your uh, guideline guideline in a sense, you know, who will be eligible for compensation. It's not that you know that every company, uh, you know, every employee in the organization, they will be eligible for the budget, right? So there are certain mm -hmm. people who are not, you know, uh, applicable for that budget, right? So yes. like this also, you can decide, you know, who will be uh, those, you know, who will be part of those compensation and everything. So there are certain people who will not. So in that case, you can set up a guideline. Eligibility, it is like, you know, what is the eligibility criteria that people should be uh, getting this? So like in this one, you can see it's like anybody who has got the three lower than three rating, they will not be applicable for merit and promotion. Okay. Right. So like this also, you can see this is the eligibility coming. Then there is a route map. Route map is nothing, it's just a workflow which is staging from your, uh, you can see whichever way you have defined, like this is a staging detail. This is a complete compensation planning. This is a, com uh, you know, admin review. This is a completed section, right? And then this is the executive review. Executive review is nothing. It's just that, you know, people who have the executive review permission, they can download the their compensation and they can do that in an Excel sheet. And once they are done with an Excel sheet, they can upload directly into the system. So this is what the executive review it is. This is okay. how the, they do that. And once you upload, it will start showing that into your system. Okay, so that was all about the compensation, uh, Soumya. Uh, had it, I knew it's like, and I would have explained to you in some more detail, but I think we just got over with the compensation. Okay. So any question that you want to ask on the compensation? Uh, no, like uh, I'm very new to this, so I want in detail explanation about this. Sure, uh, certainly it's like, you know, when we will be starting, I'll be starting that in detail. So it okay. will be roughly around, uh, you know, some some close to 15 session is going to take it to finish your compensation. All right, we'll mm -hmm. see everything in detail, how the formula works, how we can create our own formula, how we can create our template how we can set up the currency conversion, pay matrix, right? So all those details we will see practical in the system, how we can go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So anything else, Somia, you want to ask me? Uh, nothing as such. Once we get into the topics, maybe. All right, fine. So I think that's 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 it, Somya. I think I don't have anything else because you know the server system which I have here with me, it's a new server system they have given to me where there is no template. So even if okay. I log in into the server, I won't be able to show you any template in the system. Uh, uh, list, whatever the topic is going to be there in the compensation list, we're going to cover all those topic. And I think okay. even in the PPT also, I've shown you all those topic, right? That's what I'm asking. Is everything shown in the PPT? I'm not sure. I am really not sure. You know, I'm, I'm, I'll have to see that, you know, what is the, uh, you know, those uh, topic has been shared with you. But don't mm -hmm. worry, uh, all those topic, you know, because when I prepared those topic, that was some long time back. So now, you know, there's a lot of change. So even those changes also I'll cover in my session. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, all are not covered in this PPT. That's the reason yeah, I'm asking. This is just a demo PPT. Don't worry. Okay. So, just a demo PPT. So all the content is different thing, right? The course content is a different thing. So when we're going to start with the session, so I'll cover with the course content and I'll cover everything. Yeah. Can you brief me about the SAP, how it wo works? Success SAP, factor. Success, factor. success factor is a cloud-based solution. 
So okay. what do you mean by cloud-based? Cloud-based means you don't have to install the server at your premises. Okay. All right. And you just need the internet connection and the credential to start using that. Mm. All right. So this is what the uh, success factor it is. And then there is a implementation methodology. So if you have those implementation methodology, so like you will have the implementation methodology, they use the agile implementation methodology. So in that case, you know, there are phases. So you have those certain phases which you can actually go ahead and check all those phases, which you can see that into the system. OK. OK. So this implementation and everything will cover in the classes, right? Yes, yes. I'll cover all these implementation and everything. All right. And uh, I think, I think, yeah, Tell so me. what time is uh, flexible to you to take the classes? Timing. Can we take it on 8 to 9? Yeah, that will work. Right. So it's 8 to 9, we can go ahead with the session. Okay. All so right. is it only 15 days? I mean, 15 hours only, or it, it may extend? It may, it will extend if you ask question or if you okay. are stuck somewhere, it's like, you know, with assignment or something, then only it will go beyond. But do not worry, there is nothing the fixed rule, you know, that will have only 15 session. If it okay. goes beyond that, we'll go beyond that also. And but normally uh, on within 15 days, you know, it, it gets over. Okay, fine. And after this course completion for job also, it will be supporting, right? Job support. No, job support is a different activity. For support, you will have to speak to see if you have a one or two question. Yes, I can help you out with that. But if you will have a constant question, in that case, you'll have to take a support activity. If you want any guidance, certainly the guidance can be given. But the job support practically means that you're facing some issue and you know somebody has to do R&D and help you with that. OK. Right. Fine, so few, yeah. Few basic issue which will be there, that's something which I'll cover it, but not the complete, you know, that if you expect that, you know, on behalf of you, I'm going to work on the system and no, go no, to no. rectify everything. Not, that like, I'm not like that. If I am facing any difficulty in finding out the solution, you will be there not to guide me. Uh -huh. Then I'll guide you with that, right? That's, okay. that's all right. Yeah. All right. So if you have any question, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll close the session. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all for today. All right, uh, <coughs> so yeah, so uh, you know, followed by which <coughs> you'll have to go ahead with the registration process. Once you register, we'll start your session. Sure, thank you, Ashish. Okay, then, yeah, bye. Bye.